I'm going to demonstrate the use of these brackets for mounting the, the shroud to the cover level as distinct from the, the sp spaces that uh, are normally I've normally used in the past. There's something I'm experimenting with, printed with the 3D printer. Uh, they do work. Uh, they clip on, have to line up with the hole. Like so. But each one has a small bra a small bracket on it which supports the level in its place. The biggest problem is it's not a particularly substantial support and now I still suggest the need for drilling to start that screw and still rotate around the shroud Make sure the spacing is about equal, and we have to make sure that this is lined up. Just remember this is those brackets are fundamentally plastic. So there is a limit to the their strength. And again, you've got to make sure your space is, a, is about the centimetre. Make sure this level is sitting on that little ledge what this does is make make use of every last millimeter of the height of the shroud and we bring that centimetre clearance down over the in between the box and you'll note this example has got a a 
an entrance into it. That's because this is the level that, when I put it together, had a twist in it. I'd made a mistake in the assembly. So what I'll do is to put a, a stopper in that so uh short stopper needs to be shorter than that so that's the this that's that's the way the those brackets support the shroud Now the final the tile can be the gravel. Provides a element of I call it thermal mass, others may call it something different. The objective is if the box is exposed to sun, heat, intentionally or otherwise, it will slow the rate of heat absorption from the top. Uh, now, these tiles, the challenge is to get, get the tile square on the box underneath and you can't see it, you can't tip it, but the box lines up on the pattern, you can see it's pretty much square on the, those lines. Once you've done a few, you can feel it. I can fit. I can line it up on the on the sides, but I simply look underneath. To line up on those edges, and that makes sure that those four holes are in the the top. Then I can squeeze all the tops. Now if you're going to pre-drill all of them, just make sure you don't move that tile and certainly don't rotate it. Because those holes aren't fixed positions, they're, it's a, they're a unique position. These neoprene washers can be done with less. I found if I just have a simple washer underneath these screws, the chance of, as the screw going in, of putting too much pressure on the tile and breaking the tile was too great. So at putting a, a neoprene washer like this in gave the flexibility. And the objective is not to take it all the way down, it's just until the, the screw exerts pressure on the top of the top. And 
that's the that's the cover picture.